8, amplify. Again, we repeat what we have been doing before. Look at the circuit, AMOS. Identify the terminals. This must be the gate. This is string because it's higher potential. This is AMOS. This is the source, right? Again, N type region has more electron, right? P type region has more hole, right? Uh, and even I give you some new device where I taught N type, P type, uh, that's what it means, right? So where is the input? Where's the input here? At the source. And where's the output? At the drain, right? Gate is where we have a common potential. That's why it's called common gate. Is this okay? So we will uh, continue on what we have been doing to understand uh, what a common gate is. As I said, the input is at the source. The output is at the drain. And it's called common gate because the common the gate is at AC ground. All right. Why do I need to bias the gates, by the way? Why don't I just ground it? Say again. To turn it on, to bias it, right? But it is constant, so it is AC ground. When we're doing AC analysis, this is grounded, right? And then we need to understand how it works. I think we'll do it in the next slide, right? Again, we'll repeat this, we'll do it in the next slide. How it works. Again, change the input voltage, look at how the output voltage will change, have a feeling on it, right? After that, we do small signal analysis to find out in our LGM and AV, right? That's what we usually do, right? So let's start the first one, intuitive picture. So this is the same circuit as the last one. We just flip it, we put the gate on the left. Still the input is at the source, the output is at the drain, right? So we will just repeat what we said. Okay, now I my V in increased by delta V. So if my V increased by delta V, what happened to VGS? If you don't get it right the way, just break it down. What is VGS? VG minus VS. Very good. VG minus VS. And then what is VG? VB, which is a constant. Very good. And then VS is? V in, right? So now V in increased by delta V. What happened to VG? Stay the same. Uh, sorry, VGS, very good. Yeah. VG stayed the same. So what happened to VGS? It went, yeah. went down by? By delta V. By delta V. Okay. I think even you did not study EE before, just look at this, right? You, If you just do it slowly, you can you realize this, right? I increase this one by delta V. The difference will reduce by delta V. Yeah, it get closer to VB, right? So, okay. So VGS reduced by delta V. What happened to ID? I'm jumping a little bit. Now, the VGS reduced by delta V. What happened to ID? It will reduce, correct? Just because of ID proportional to VGS squared uh, or minus VTH, VGS minus VTH squared. But we are very good now. <laughs> You're supposed to be very good now. Now then how much ID will it reduce? If you already know some parameter about the transistor, how much ID will it reduce? By how much? I'll say again, by how? Yeah, by this square, but let's say it is a close to small signal, right? Now I change my VG, 
and it caused a change in ID. What is this concept? A change in VG caused a change in ID. Transconductance. The transconductance will tell you how much it will change because delta ID divided by delta VG is GM. So this is going to reduce by GM times, VD, times VGS. Is this okay? Just a guess, uh, not a guess, a, a hand-waving argument. But so far, I did not do any approximation. It said that we assume it is a tiny change. Because if this delta V is very large, we cannot have a constant GM already. Remember the curve, right? Is this okay? I mean, this is important concept, not, not in the exam, but that is what we have been talking about, the transconductors. We could have do this in common source already, but I wait until now, right? Is this okay? Like your stove, you know that I turn the knob by this 15 degree, it's get, going to get hotter, more fire by that much, right? It's going to have a regular cook on my egg, right? Otherwise you overcook or whatever, right? This is the transconductance, right? Amount of fire you increase by turn to the amount of turn, extra turn you have on the knob, on the stove, right? Okay, now if the, G, if the ID reduced by GMVGS, what happened to V out? I reduced the current, what happened to the output voltage? Because it's equal to VDD minus RD times ID. Good. So you say when ID reduce, then this is negative, right? So then the V out will increase, right? You can either use the equation or just think about the current is less now. If you have zero current, this is going to be VDD, right? So it will increase by how much? GMVGS times RD, very good. Do you understand why she say that? Because GMVGS is the delta ID, right? So times the RD, it becomes this Delta, right? So if you can see this, that is great. I don't need you to know this in exam, but I really hope that you can see this. So then you are an expert. You look at the circuit, right? You can just say what the trend it is. If not, at least I want you to have the feeling how it increase or decrease, right? I hope you can go through this train of logic, right? So based on this, what is the gain? By definition, what is the gain? Definition of the gain, delta V out divided by delta V in. What is delta V out? GM, uh, V, G, S, R, D, right? Uh, so, sorry, uh, this is, yeah, V, G, S, R, D, yeah? But what is delta V in? It's just delta V, right? So here I also need to say delta VGS. So, so, so here actually, I'm sorry, I should say delta VGS instead of VGS. This one should be delta VGS, right? Change of VGS. So here I should put delta VGS. And delta VGS is again uh, Did I do something wrong here? Yeah, so so um So unfortunately, uh, let, let, let's go through one more time. I, I, the side problem, I kind of uh, messed up, right? 
So V in increased by delta V, right? So Vgs is going to reduce by delta V. And Id is going to uh, reduce by Gm delta Vgs. by gm delta vgs but delta vgs is equals to uh delta v negative delta v because this is reduced by delta v okay gm is reduced by delta v so so this is going to be uh delta v right but i need to put an absolute value so we see that it's reducing because i don't want to say reduced by negative value okay so uh, it's going to reduce by GM delta V. And then maybe here, I just do not want to continue to use uh, VGS, right? And this is going to increase by delta V. Okay, so this is, uh, sorry for the confusion. So uh, the point is that because I try to use reduce and increase throughout the process, then the sign will have some problem. If I keep saying increasing, then that will be no problem. Right. So I, I hope uh, I hope this is OK with you. Right. So as a result, the point is that the V out increased by GM delta V out D. So OK. And because of this, I will just put delta V here. OK, so the gain is GM out D. OK, so. Um, you see, without solving any small signal circuit, I already know the gain of the common gate. Okay? Does it have a negative or positive gain? Based on what we just see. It's positive, right? Is this familiar to you, GMRD, the gain? Where did you see this before? Forgot? Common source, very good. Common source, right? But common source has a negative gain. Okay, so it's kind of opposite, right? The gain is uh, the 